so now for the detection of the extra elements we are going to prepare our sodium extract okay for this uh, we need the sodium metal pieces and these are the sodium metal pieces which are dipped in kerosene our first step is to dry the sodium metal pieces properly with the help of filter paper now take a clean and dry fusion tube okay and uh, so uh, inside this fusion tube take our sodium metal piece so we have taken the sodium metal piece inside this fusion tube okay now we heat this uh, fusion tube now heat this fusion tube so that the sodium metal gets melted okay now add our compound inside this fusion tube so this is our unknown compound and uh, uh, we have added okay the our compound now again heat it so that the sodium metal gets Uh, react with our compound to form the ionic inorganic substances to get the reactions proper again we have to add some more sodium metal pieces so that the reaction becomes complete with this active sodium metal so again this dry sodium metal piece we have to enter inside the fusion tube and now heat till it becomes red hot so heating with the safety precautions by using wire gauge is must to avoid any accident heat this fusion tube till it becomes red hot so here the stage is where the fusion tube appears red hot now as we have already taken some distilled water inside this china dish and we have to uh, plunge this red hot sodium uh, this fusion tube inside this china dish okay yes so uh, this is the very right procedure for making sodium extract now split it into pieces with the help of a glass rod so that the sodium uh, so that the fusion tube split into pieces break into pieces okay so in this manner now boil it for 10 minutes now we have to cool it and then filter it next step is to filter it so this is our sodium extract ready for the detection of extra elements present in our unknown organic compound now we are ready for our 
element detection test and first we have to test of the nitrogen for this we will require our sodium extract this is our sodium extract and freshly prepared FeSO4 solution this is our freshly prepared FeSO4 solution now in a clean test tube take 2 ml of sodium extract so 2 ml of sodium extract in it add freshly prepared FeSO4 solution and see what is going to happen so adding FeSO4 yes here the green PPT is formed and this shows the presence of nitrogen now further we will add dilute H2SO4 in it so this phone number bottle in our laboratory is dilute H2SO4 and uh, after adding dilute H2SO4 in it we will see that green PPT is getting dissolved ok and yes a beautiful Persian blue color is formed ok so this confirms the presence of nitrogen in our compound so here uh, this blue color Persian blue color and now we are seeing that PPT has settled down So this is our unknown organic compound. For this compound we have prepared the sodium extract. So this is our sodium extract. We are going to perform the layer test for halogens. Okay. For this take this 2 ml of sodium extract in a clean test tube. In it add 1 ml of carbon tetrachloride this is a carbon tetrachloride and add 1 ml of carbon tetrachloride in our soda extract okay. now next is to add 1 ml of concentrated nitric acid so it is a concentrated nitric acid and now we are going to add it add it now next step is to shake it vigorously after shaking vigorously for few minutes now hold the test tube steadily yes here uh, really chemistry is very beautiful so here we see a clear layer that is the violet layer and this violet layer confirms the presence of iodine in our organic compound so this layer is getting some darker and darker okay. so here iodine is confirmed in our organic compound if the layer would have been colorless layer then it would have been showed the presence of chlorine and if the layer would have been yellow or brown then it uh, sh uh, would have been shown the presence of bromine but now here clear cut iodine is present as a halogen in our organic compound so here is a confirmation of iodine in our organic compound here we get a beautiful violet color layer of iodine so it shows the presence of iodine So, uh, we have already prepared our soda extract. Okay, this is our sodium extract. And now we are 
firstly we are going to test the presence of sulfur in our compound okay for this take a clean test tube in this take 1 ml of our sodium extract and then add sodium nitroprusside in it so this is our sodium nitroprusside and we are going to add and see here what will happen oh yes so here a beautiful purple color is formed which confirm